Hello everybody, hopefully your pandemic is going relatively well with all things considered. Personally, I'm working on that nice like slumlord look. Um, by the way, this is gonna be one of the last times you're gonna have to hear this echoey lapel mic. Thank you to my sponsors on Patreon because without you guys, I would not be able to increase the quality of production and buy a better microphone. So if anybody else would like to donate, I would very much appreciate that and I'll give all of you guys a shout out if you would like. Anyhow, here is two compilations. Number one is what Trump had just said on CNNBC, where he's pretty much talking about how thousands of people will die. I'm not here to, to give any sort of analysis or give my particular view. I'm just letting you know this is something that he had said. And the second half is just a few videos of the things he used to say. So shout out to CNNBC, please don't copyright me. And the second half is Wall Street Journal. So shout out to the Wall Street Journal. Shout out to Mackenzie Bezos. Here we go. You're going to start seeing some real light at the end of the tunnel, but this is going to be a very painful, very, very painful two weeks. When you look and see at night the kind of death that's been caused by this invisible enemy, it's, it's incredible. And this is going to be a rough two-week period. This is going to be a rough two or three weeks. This is going to be one of the roughest two or three weeks we've ever had in our country. We're going to lose thousands of people. When I see 28, 29 people from the governor of New Jersey, 29 people. When you see 173 people died in New York yesterday or whatever the number was, I think it was more than that. When you see the kind of numbers that we're witnessing, we've never seen numbers like that. But I'm a cheerleader for our country. And I want him to do a great job so the number can be kept. And I've always said it. I want as few a number of people to die as possible. And that's all we're working on. Yeah. That should be placed in the history books. Everything he just said. Just place all that in the history books and compare and contrast it to what he used to say, which is right now. Now, the virus that we're talking about having to do, you know, a lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat. Because of all we've done, the risk to the American people remains very low. People die from the flu, and this is very unusual. And it is a little bit different, but in some ways it's easier, and in some ways it's a little bit tougher. Uh, but uh, we have it so well under control. Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. And this is their new hoax. Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much for everything that you do. Thank you for watching. If you have any sort of strong comments or feelings about this, I would very much appreciate you just letting me know because I'm very curious as to what you think about the situation. Anyway, thank you very much. Live long and prosper, unless you don't want to, in which case, don't.